Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Saturday, January 2nd. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, sacred music, and other content are available at FountainChurchTallahassee.org. Also, remember that we worship every Sunday morning at 10. Drive up worship on our beautiful grounds. Please come and join us. Well, on this rainy January 2nd, my scripture is from Psalm 51, verses 10 and 11. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. This is the word of the Lord. You know, around this time of year, everyone talks about New Year's resolutions, and it's very popular these days to say, well, we don't really need New Year's resolutions. We don't follow these resolutions. They might be self-defeating and so forth and so on. Well, I'm reminded that as a Christian, we ought not need New Year's resolutions because if we're following the word, the will, and the way of Jesus Christ, if we're striving to walk in his footsteps, then we don't need the law, we don't need rules and regulations, we don't need resolutions, because we will be living the way the Lord would call us to live. And it is to our benefit, and it brings many blessings. But I'm reminded of a cute little story. Apparently, a mother had two sons, 10 and 8, and they both had big appetites. There was only one piece of chicken left at the dinner table, and they were fighting over it. She stopped them and said, boys, now what would Jesus do? And they both agreed, well, Jesus would probably let his brother have the other piece of chicken. And they sat there for a moment, and then the older brother looked at his younger brother and said, Joey, you be Jesus first. <laughs> Isn't that great? But when we look at this new year and we ask ourselves, who do we want to be? I believe that a key to following the Lord and walking with the Lord the key to the blessings the Lord has in store for you, the abundance that is possible, the peace within our spirits, is to follow this simple call. In your life, you be Jesus first. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the new life and love and hope that he brings. And we want to feel that in our hearts, Lord. Remind us that your call and claim on our lives can be summarized in these simple words. You be Jesus first. In his name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.